All right, welcome to today's session with Tegris Consulting. My name is Jarrett Donaldson, and I'm a consultant here on the team. And in today's demonstration, what I'm going to show you how to use is a, a tool inside of SAP called the Form Settings. And basically, in, in layman terms, what it is is it allows you to just edit, you know, the the user experience or what you're seeing inside of your modules and and menus and reports and whatnot. And so it looks a little bit different um, depending on what module or menu or report you're in, but um, it's in the same location every time. So you come up here to the shortcuts to your icon bar. This one right here, the little paper and a gear box on it, is your form settings. And so when we open it up with no modules open, it's going to default to the form settings for the main menu. And what you can do here is make certain folders or subfolders or modules visible and active inside of um, the main menu. So if you don't want to see production or MRP or resources, you can simply uncheck those, update, and you see it minimized over here and it got rid of those. And vice versa, if you want to put them back on, you can do the same thing if you're missing some for the same menu. And it's not just, like I said, for the, the, the main folders, but you can also expand and do the same thing for the subfolders as well and turn them on and off. So that's the basics uh, for form settings with the main menu and how you can customize that. Um, when you're inside of a, a marketing document, let's like do a sales order, it looks a little bit different, um, but along the same lines, it allows you to customize you know, this table here inside of your marketing document. So if you have certain columns that are displaying here that you didn't no longer need or want to rearrange, you can do that with the form settings as well. So you can see it looks a little different, but along the same lines, you can come over here to the table format tab, that's the most used, and it will show you all of the available columns that can be seen on the sales order module. In different types of modules, you'll see different columns that are that are allowed or not. And so you can simply come in here, and if let's say you don't need to see the serial number, you can uncheck that, uh, no longer take that. If you want to take out the barcode or whatnot, or add it, you can do that. And so if we click OK, you'll see the, the serial number removed from right there. Um, and like vice versa, if you want to rearrange like barcode, if you want to bring that all the way to the front, you can do that here as well. Like coming in, grabbing it, holding down, you see a little white um, board around it, and you can simply just drag and drop it above where you want to place it. And then when you update, it'll bring it right there to the front. So uh, really, really neat functionality from an end user standpoint. And um, lastly, you can go in here and you know create um, default things for the main um, sales order as a whole, um, if you'd like. Um, and then also in your row format, very similar to your table format, like I showed you, making them visible and active. So those are the other tabs there when you're on marketing documents. Um, lastly, you can go ahead and um, apply the form settings to reports as well. So if your report is showing a table, um, your balance sheet usually isn't showing a table, but some of them other will show um, table views. You can go in and use form settings there inside of the reports to make certain uh, fields visible or not. And, and a lot of clients, you know, will will talk to me and say, "Hey, I wish I had this field or this column on this report." And usually, the first thing I'll tell them is, "Have you checked the form settings to see if you can make it visible through there?" Because uh, oft times it is. And so, um, very useful tool. Something you know, a lot of people will overpass when you start, first start using SAP, but um, very useful when you know where it is and, and how to use it. So um, that concludes our demonstration for today. Um, please take a look at our other videos for more tips and tricks on using SAP Business One. Uh, thank you for tuning in.